hey what is going on you guys this is legacy back at it again with another video and we got quite a bit of news today so uh Watch Dogs 2 appears on Ubisoft employees CV so Watch Dogs 2 is in development at Ubisoft according to the online CV of the game senior gameplay programmer uh, Julian Rice who works at Ubisoft Paris studio lists the unannounced sequel on his LinkedIn profile alongside earlier titles Watch Dogs and its DLC Bad Blood but doesn't offer any hints as to when we may see it. Uh, Ubisoft CEO Yves Golemont, uh, I probably butcher, butcher his name, uh, sorry about that, uh, suggested that a sequel to Watch Dogs could be in development last year, but this, uh, this appears to be the first time Watch Dogs 2 has ever been referenced by name. Uh, so yeah, could we see an un unannounced sequel at E3? Uh, I really think so. Um, you know, they've been hinting at this game uh, since last year, so, you know, I think, you know, they're working on it right now. I'm pretty sure they are. Um, so, yeah, you know, let's see if Ubisoft announces Watch Dogs 2 at this year's E3, you know, pretty interesting. Uh, so, yeah, moving on from that, Grand Theft Auto 5 sells 2 million copies on PC in less than a month. So, um, man, this game, this game keeps on selling. Um, so, uh, yeah, when this game first came out, uh, in like the first three days, it made like a billion dollars or, so or something. Um, that is crazy, you know. Rockstar knows how to play the game. Um, so yeah, you know, this game is two years old and it's still making millions. Uh, it's still selling millions of copies. So, you no, know, that that's great for Rockstar, you know. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that. So moving on from that, can we possibly get new DLC? For GTA 5, so recent modders trying to unpack all GTA 5 files have recently discovered files and image files in GTA containing Zombie XX, Horse, and Minigame as names. Uh, these recent events may lead to some important DLCs and new upcoming free patches coming to GTA 5. Um, although some others are just complaining and saying it's just a leftover. Um, until then, we'll just wait and see what Rockstar has to offer. So. Yeah, you know, we might get some new DLC for GTA 5. Uh, I'm, I'm still waiting on that story DLC Rockstar. So, you know, make it happen. And yeah, so, you know, yeah. So, ho so hopefully we'll get some new DLC for GTA 5. Uh, moving on from that, Sony will aggressively invest in PlayStation business, first party games, and new hardware in 2015. So, um... Uh, Sony will invest in first-party software development, original enter entertainment content, and PS View. Uh, further investment will go into developing new hardware like Project Morpheus. Uh, Yoshida Stan explained that among the investment to increase the number of subscribers, to expand content and services, and a new hardware, there are some projects to be announced from now on. Um, no indication was provided about what those projects could be. <coughs> So, uh, yeah, uh, Sony is stepping their game up this year. So, you know, let's see what tricks they have up their sleeve and, you know, what new first-party games uh, they, they'll announce at this year's E3. Sony, please make a new Crash Bandicoot happen. Please get Naughty Dog on this. Just make it happen. I want a new Crash Bandicoot. Um, anyways, yeah, moving on from that. Uh, Halo 5 Guardians Limited Collector's Edition revealed. So uh, today, UK retailer Game have announced the Halo 5 Guardians Limited Collector's Edition and its exclusivity to Game. Uh, the Collector's Edition has just gone up on their website and was also tweeted out on their Twitter account. So uh, you're going to want to get down to your local game store fast or get clicking your way to their website because it sure as hell isn't going to last if it's anything like previous Halo Collector's Edition. Um, so the limited collector's edition comes with uh, a limited edition of the game, an arsenal of additional content, and a commemorative statue designed by 343 Industries. So um, yeah, if you're a big Halo fan, you know definitely go and check this out because I'm sure it'll it'll sell out pretty quick. So um, yeah, you know if you're interested in this um, uh, limited collector's edition, definitely go check it out. Um, so yeah. Moving on from that, we got some pretty sad news here. So, uh, Dead Island 2 has been delayed to 2016. Um, so, we have been looking at the game long and hard, and we have decided we didn't reach that goal we set out to achieve quite yet. This is why we have decided to, 
delayed Dead Island 2 to 2016. Uh, right now we are focusing purely on development and we will have more info to share at the later stage. Uh, we know that our fans will be disappointed by this news, but by giving Dead Island 2 more time, we are confident that everyone will get a better game to play as a result. Um, so yeah, uh, Dead Island 2 delayed to 2016. That sucks, uh, you know, yet another delay. But, um, you know, take your time with this game, you guys. You know, because past few Dead Islands have not been so great. So... <laughs> You know, definitely, uh, you know, this is good. I think this is good, you know, that they're taking their time with it. And, you know, they want to make sure that uh, we get a better game. So, yeah. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. That's all the news that I have for you guys today. So, um, yeah, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, subscribe for daily videos. And, yeah, I'll catch you, time. I, <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.